Hello everybody. Welcome back to Johnny Acres in the Pacific Northwest. We're back playing Farming Sim 19. I'm Joe and we're just gonna get started on another contract here. I don't think we've ever been in the case before. This is the biggest one I believe. The nice thing about this one, it's a draper header, which means no header trailer. It is its own header trailer. This is take two for this episode. I've tried to record this episode already and it didn't go very well. I didn't get any usable footage at all. And it sucks. Because the one thing I recorded or attempted to record that I really wanted to do is get hit by a car. Thank you. Oh, come on. Back up. Well, get the hell out of the way, people. You're not even letting me back up or go forward here. Alright, let's... Try and get around all these jokers here. There we go. Oh, the down pipe is caught on there now. Oh, come on. I'm just right up on the fence now. Okay. There we go. Now we're around all that mess. You stupid people. Anyway, we're finally doing a grain contract on the top of the mountain. The only one we ever did up there was a potato harvest. All the harvesting contracts have been down here. Yeah, the one thing I'm, I tried to record that I really wanted to show you was I sold the baler and the wrapper and I leased a new baler. The one that came in uh, the last DLC. And it was fantastic. I wish you could have seen it. But we will have to wait until that field grows again. Which it already is. It proceeded to the next growth stage before I even finished uh, baling all the bales. But it was a lot of fun to use. Come on, stupid. You ran into me! I was on the right side of the road. But as soon as I get this guy going, I will show you this new baler. See, there's the field all done. I also f fertilized that field. So we're just waiting for everything to grow now. I tried to get over. You just couldn't wait. These guys don't slow down for nothing. See, you can see the entire middle of the field has already grown to the next stage already. The other thing I did is I also took on a harvesting contract. But we've done many of those. Harvested canola. One of the big long fields. We've done so many of them, I really wasn't worried about if you saw it or not. But I really wish you got to see that new baler.
This contract is right next to Agro Wholesale. That's where we're delivering this. I sure like this case. I like the Draper headers. They're so much better than the using header trailers. Well, here we are. We are harvesting this one here. Headers folded up and we're ready to go. That is a monster. I can't wait to get one of these. I almost should have got this one on the Stone Valley series. Another farmer who did not weed his field. Why did none of them weed their fields? Well, I'm sure somewhere in this episode there'll be a time lapse. All we have to do is sell bales and harvest this field. Now, this is the one here. And it's got two chambers in it. So, it'll start in the first smaller chamber and for and the reason for that is it gives the transition time from the full bale in the second chamber time to unload into the back here where it wraps it so once that transitions done the small bale moves out of the small chamber and into the big one. That way it's a continuous system and you don't have to stop to unload. Because even when these are, they're wrapped they'll automatically be dropped. It was a lot of fun to use. I only stopped this field a couple times to unload the harvester on the contract. Now, we're so close to agro wholesale, should I just dump the harvester right in? No, because then I have to take the header off. I won't be able to get the header through the gate. So I'll bring the tipper trailer up here, and then we'll start selling bales. See, this is the kind of tippers that I would love to have. That's another odd-shaped field up there. I wonder how the helper is going to do on it. They usually don't do well on angled fields. They only usually do well on square fields. So one of the big things I talked about when I first attempted to record this was the new expansion coming in November. It looks like another pack that has a couple good pieces of equipment in it and the rest of them are more of the same just in a different brand. Much like the last DLC. Came out with a great baler and a great mower. But everything else seems to be more of the same. But it is a true expansion pack. Because it does come with a new map. Something that normally happens a year after the initial game is released. So it should have come last fall. See, this is what I mean. They don't like angled fields. They miss triangles like this everywhere. But this new expansion pack is going to have a map 
that's set in the Swiss Alps. It's supposed to center around cows and grass farming. So there'll be new types of grass, sound, or looks like. There'll be a push mower and an electric tractor, which will be interesting. Normally, the next farming sim simulator game comes out every two years. So the next one should, should have been in November. But it's delayed because they're waiting for the new consoles to come out. So it's probably not coming out until the new year. Well, this guy seems to be doing all right. Just missing some few spots. Let's go get the bale collector. Where are we going to sell these bales? Uh, we're looking for silage. Which will be the symbol that looks like it's got two bookends on the side of it. Uh, 307 and 380. The barn is paying the most for our silage. So we're taking them down the mountain. We're going to use our super speedy Vultra. All right, load up. Bales. We're not keeping any of these. There's no reason. So we'll sell them all. I also have a couple in the road up there. Yeah, there they are. Right there. I'm sure the cars will drive around it, just like they did with me and the harvester. And since we're so close, that's Agri Wholesale right there. We're going to take it and dump it right away. And he leaves the little bits like this at this end too. Come on. Gotta love these reliable helpers. One of the things I want to get into next is pigs. I was looking at a pig pen when I initially recorded and I want to get the bigger pig pen but it's 250000 I've already taken out a big lease for that tractor and the mowers. Oh, I think I want to save up for that pig pen. I don't want to use up all my loan all at once. But who knows? Maybe we'll get a fortune from all that silage bales. All right, time to head down the mountain and see just how much we can make from all this. Vultra away! So we must be on episode probably 13 now? Something like that. And one of the first things we did in episode one is harvest the oat field. And I bailed up all the straw and brought it down to this barn here. Now these are gonna be worth a lot more than the straw bales were.
12,000. Now the thing about placeables, like animal pens, is it contours the land and makes it flat for the placeable. But that costs money as well. So when the pen costs 250000 you also have to take into account the terrain editing. Because that adds more cost on top of that. So what I'm going to do is when I save up enough, I'm going to flatten out an area by our new field. And then I'll put the pig pen on it. And I'll probably take out some loan to change the terrain a little, a little bit around it and smooth it out the edges. And when I get to building that, you'll see, we'll go into more detail about the terrain editing in the, in the game here. I haven't done much with building any placeables yet, except for that pressure washer. But that didn't really need a big space. Not like the big pink pen is going to do. It's going to need a lot of room. Same with the cows. And I'm not sure what to get into next after pigs. Is it going to be the cows? Or is it going to be the manufacturing or the packaging building? For the straw harvest. Well there, got another load. Time to head back. Let's see, we made 12,000. I don't think we'll come... I don't think we'll get 250 out of all these bales. But we still have all the beets. We could sell all those, too. Another 12,000. What I'd like to see them come out with for this game is, is stuff that will add more realism to it. Like rocks that appear in your field and you gotta go all them out of it. But I don't think they're going to change anything like that to the game. Especially when they're working on the next farming simulator game. That's the other thing that they were talking about this past weekend. At FarmCon. The virtual FarmCon. Was all the new sound elements they're putting into Farming Sim 21. So they are working on the next Farming Simulator game. But I'm hoping they bring more realism to it. And one of the big things I want to see is vehicles that take damage. Uh, just like in SnowRunner. But I've heard a rumor that they may actually do that. It's one of the same developers works on both games. So, 
we might see more stuff from SnowRunner or more mechanics from SnowRunner in f the next farming simulator in the next farming simulator series small little triangles on this side now That's right, we'll also be able to sell the extra crop from this, too. I forgot about that, too. Well, looks like the recording's going fairly well. I haven't had any of those nasty notifications that I did when I initially recorded. I kept saying there was not enough space on the hard drive. And when I made enough space, it didn't export properly after. Another thing I wish there was also in this game is more contract variety. Like there is very little bailing contracts. The only bailing contract you can do is for grass that you have to windrow straw swath when you harvest. And then that afterwards you'd have another contract available for bailing. You've got probably half of it done or more. Well, let's move on to more bales. I think with this grass field, now that it's all grown, it's going to grow a lot faster. It's when you initially plant it that it takes forever. Alright, another load for the barn. Yeah, I wasn't going to stop for that guy. They don't stop for me. It sounds like SnowRunner is going to have a lot of mods for it too. A lot of modded trucks. Just like in this game here where you get a lot of modded vehicles and tools. In fact, I think this trailer here is... A motto. I got it as soon as the game was released. It came out right away. Because there was no way to collect the round bales. So the wrapper I initially bought for this series is also a mod. I've had them, both of these, for a long time. We only need a hundred and twenty thousand more. Now right up here is where I want to put these pigs. Right here. Right on the corner of the field here. And I kind of wish I came up here around this field and cut all the grass too. I could actually still do that. But should I do that or should I cut down some more trees? I think cut down more trees. Now if I get pigs, I really will need those beets. I also will need corn, which I don't have. Actually, I think I do have some. I think there's some that came in uh, the silo on the farm. But I will need a planter and a corn header. It takes a lot to keep them fed, but they reproduce like crazy.
and they'll produce manure. Which I want to spread on my fields as fertilizer. I want to get a manure spreader sometime soon. That way I can spread manure on the field right after I harvest it and that'll be the first fertilizer stage. And the second one will be spreading fertilizer after planting. 106 left to go. Well I'm sure glad cotton harvesting works so much better than it did when the game first came out. I might get back into that. I just don't know which series to do it in, this one or Stone Valley. I think I'd much rather do it in Stone Valley. Because we already, I already have a couple of goals for this series. That's cows and getting into the straw harvest. Which requires a packaging facility. And that packaging facility, I might actually put it right where the red barn is on the farm. I'll tear down the red barn and put that building there in, in its place. Alright, helper. Nice square field for you. Don't screw it up. I should have two more loads up here. So I'll be coming up for three bales. Let's see, I got 165. I need 85,000 more. I don't really produce anything at all, just more pigs and manure. And I missed a turn. Turned the wrong way. Whereas cows produce milk and more manure as well. But they are expensive to feed. They take a lot of food. Chickens are probably the easiest. They're the only animal you don't need water for. And all you have to do is keep feeding them wheat. So this will come out before the other two snow runners that I have. I've got one of them edited already. It's all ready to be posted. And the other one is just about finished editing. We will finally be getting to the snow in SnowRunner. And I'm gonna say that was definitely an adventure exploring in the snow. That's all I will say about that for now. I hope you guys enjoy the next two SnowRunner episodes. There's a lot of trees that can be cut down in here. I would love to cut all these ones down. Do I own any of this land? I don't. How much is it? It's only 50,000. Not right now. Because that'll be 50,000 less that we don't have to get the pigs. But I can't wait to get bigger equipment and then I don't have to lease anymore to do these contracts. Alright, we'll finally clear these ones off the road. Looks like somebody hit one of them. One of them was right in the middle of the road. Now this won't make us 12,000. It's only three bales. Alright, we'll take this and put it away. We won't need it and, and we won't need it until it's time to start baling up straw and more silage bales. The 
straw bales will probably come first. That's another thing we'll need for pigs is straw. Straw for bedding. Alright, we're back at the farm. Put this away. I still got that little tipper. I should get the shop to come pick up their tipper. I don't think I'll need that little one again. The only reason I ever got it was for logging. But I ended up getting a logging trailer anyway. I don't need both. Okay, who's giving us the best price? Agro Wholesale. Yep. They are definitely the highest. So, let's do that. It is time for the train. I have no idea where we are on the train though. Oh, we're here. So, basically, I can just back up to Agro Wholesale. Maybe 15... 150 liters? I didn't realize I got that many beats off that field. Wow. Wow, this is a lot of beats. Oh, that's all that fits in there anyway. 120,000 liters. Okay. Let's back up to Agro Wholesale. I think this is the first time I've been on the train on this map. Gotta slow this train down here. We're coming into the Agro Wholesale now. Slow it down a little. I don't want to overshoot the unload spot. And there it is there. Sugar beet. Yes. Right bumper, unload. Well, this will definitely get us on the way. Certainly not going to get us to 250, but going to get us close. 212. $30,000. But we are going to leave this here. We didn't get the pigs in this episode, but we will get them soon enough. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And thank you very much for watching. And for the support. We will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.